Hey friends, I hope everybody's having a really good day. I just want to tell you about a, a conversation I had with the Lord recently that was just so powerful. I came into the place of prayer. I set aside time in the middle of the day to go to the place of prayer and I didn't come in for me. I didn't come in with any wants, with any needs. I came to prayer to meet with the Lord with the heart of gratitude and to just give thanks to the Lord. And I was just so thankful to God. And I just started just counting my blessings and started just thanking God for all the many things He's done in my life. And I mean, I started going through the list. I started thanking the Lord for my personal walk with Him and how He's saved me, restored me, done a work in me, you know, took care of me, protected me, you know, gave me an, an amazing wife, kids, family, ministry, health coaching, just everything He's doing from our housing business to YouTube. I was just thanking the Lord for every single thing. My friends, I got some amazing friends. In fact, one of my friends, Tim Cornelius, gave me this amazing hat about dad life. I mean, I was just thanking the Lord for everything. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped in the middle of prayer. And I said, God, what can I do for you? Friends, what happened over the next 30 minutes, I can't put it even into words, but I'll try. It's like the heart of God melted on me. And I just felt the love of God just surround me, wrap around me like a warm winter blanket or this amazing coat that I'm wearing because this thing is thick. I just felt the Lord just wrap around me. And then it hit me. Not that many people ever go into prayer and actually say these words, God, what can I do for you? I'm here in prayer today for you. I'm here to intercede on behalf of what heaven wants prayer for. Well, what do you want heaven to pray? What, what do you want me to say? Your kingdom come, your will be done. Well, what is the prayer that heaven needs prayed? Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus is at the right hand of the Father interceding. What's Jesus praying? I want to agree with the prayer from heaven. I want to agree with the prayer of Jesus. And I got so excited. And it's almost like I tapped into a greater revelation of something that I knew, but now I've experienced. And all of these scriptures just started exploding inside of me that heaven has prayers that they need prayed in the earth for the manifestation to come. You know, whenever Jesus wants to do something, he finds a son or a daughter and he does that work with them. See, whenever we have on our heart that, that we need to do something for God, we usually have a limitation that we have to break through to see that manifest. So we got to partner with God for the breakthrough. Now, Ephesians 6.10 in the Passion says, Stand victorious with your life union with Jesus Christ. Well, where's Jesus right now? Like I said, he's at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. So we agree with the prayer from heaven and we start praying and then we start seeing the kingdom manifested on the earth. So by saying that and praying that and doing that, we literally say, God, what do you want done? God, what do you need me to do? God, what do I need to pray? There's a lot of times that I go into prayer and I just start praying in the spirit because my mind might not know what to, to pray or to say. But the Spirit does. Friends, it's time that we need to set aside times and places that we go to prayer. And, and we don't go in with an agenda. We don't go in to pray for our own needs. We go in and say, God, what do you need done on the earth? Not my will, God, but yours. I will throw my life 100% into the purpose and the plan that you have for me. Now, when you are operating in your kingdom assignment, that means you are fully covered by the grace of God. What does it mean in Ephesians 6.10, as I was saying in the, about the Passion Translation? Stand victorious with your life union with Jesus Christ. Well, when you have centered your life around the gospel and you know that you are walking in what God has you to do, 
You are going to tap into the prayers of heaven. You will hear what Jesus is interceding. And you are going to just be able to function with the power of the Holy Spirit dwelling within you and around you in an extra measure of the Holy Spirit upon you. Friends, we have to start praying, God, what do you need me to do? God, what do you need done in the earth? See, one of the biggest problems that we have is so many people ask the Lord to come alongside their plans. But what would happen and how would our life shift and change if we really said, God, I want to do what you want me to do. I want to do what you need me to do. I do not want to be a selfish believer. I want to be a laid down lover for you, Lord. I just want to do what you've called me to do. Friends, that encounter I had with the Lord was probably one of the top five encounters I've ever had in my life because I really felt the full gaze of the Lord upon me. I felt the heart of God the Father. And this is what I felt. I felt the Lord say, not that many people ask me what my will is. When you can learn to operate in the will of God, everything changes in your life. Your life tra will change spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. When, you, when you're moving in the things that the Lord has, everything will start to change. So I want to encourage you today. Go before the Lord. Phone down, computers off, in utter silence. Matthew 6 and 6. When you pray, go into your room and shut your door. And when you pray in private in the secret place, your Father will be there. Then when you come out of the secret place, He will reward you openly. What that means is when you really get the heart of the Father, you will see the full manifestation of the dreams that God has for you as it manifests through you. I started praying a prayer years ago. I said, God, I don't want to live out my own desires. Please put your desires, the ones in heaven for Jojo Dawson, put it in my heart so I will carry out the full purpose that heaven has for me in my life. And then I always say, God, whatever you need done in the earth, find me as your faithful servant who will do everything that I can to, to make your agenda come to pass. I will give all my energy, effort, time, money, everything, God. But I'm asking for the provision of heaven to make sure that the vision comes to pass. And when you start operating like that, it changes everything. So get before the Lord and simply say, God, what can I do for you today? And I've made that a daily habit, a daily practice that I will say, God, who do you want me to reach out to today? Who do you want me to, to maybe sow a financial seed into? Who do you want me to encourage? What can I do to benefit one of your sons and daughters that might not regularly come to my mind? And so I'm always just asking the Lord, what do you want me to do? How can I live out Matthew 6 and 10 today? I wanna to see your kingdom manifest on the earth today. And I, I'm just honored that you would allow me to be a part of it. So I encourage you today, start praying that, God, what can I do for you today? And hey, if you want any more information, anything that my wife and I do, you can go to jojodawson.net. You can find our YouTube channel. You can find our blogs. You can also find a place that we will pray for you. Go to the Connect, Contact Us button, and there's a place for prayer. You hit that, and I will personally pray for every single person who sends me a prayer request. I love praying. I love prayer. I love interceding on behalf of God's people. And so also there's a place if you want to sow, hey, we take donations and we appreciate it so much. So I just hope that you have a blessed day. And remember, don't go to prayer always thinking about yourself. Don't go in selfishly, but go in asking the Lord what you can do to benefit the kingdom of God.